This is Endocrine System Lab Part 3, where we're going to be talking about the parathyroid gland. And the first picture I want to bring back up to you is when we were looking at the actual thyroid gland. And again, this is the anterior view, so you can see the right and left lobe of the thyroid gland. And you can also see that the thyroid gland is looking like a butterfly-shaped organ. So where I want you to focus your attention to is actually on the lobes itself or the wings of the thyroid gland. Now we're going to flip this structure around to the posterior view and you'll actually see the back part of the right and left lobes or the wings, so to speak, the back lobes of the wings um, of the thyroid gland. So here's a posterior view of that and you can see the right and left lobes of the thyroid gland, these nice little uh, wing structures, uh, the portion of the wings of the structures of the lobes. And also found on the lobes of the thyroid gland, you can see these purple shaped structures, there's actually four of them. Um, they're actually lentil size uh, shaped or they're actually pea size shaped in reality. Um, and these glands are called parathyroid glands. You can see that we have two para right parathyroid glands on the right lobe of the thyroid gland. And you can also see two left parathyroid glands on the left lobe of the thyroid gland. And found down the center is a nice little channel or passageway, which is actually the larynx that's found going right through or posterior to the actual thyroid gland. Now looking at the histological view of the actual parathyroid glands, you can see it's nothing like what you refer to as a thyroid gland. Remember the thyroid gland was made up of thyroid follicles, whereas here the parathyroid gland is made up of a lot of different cells. In particular, in particular it's made up of two types of cells. We have what we refer to as the chief cells and the oxyphil cells. Now the oxyphil cells are the darker stain cells and they really do not have a function that we know of as of today. So there's no known function for these oxyphil cells. There may be there just for structural support, but that's really all that we know about these type of cells. Now the other cells are what we refer to as chief cells. And chief cells are the more lighter stain cells. They're the more numerous cells of the parathyroid gland. And they're actually releasing a hormone called the parathyroid hormone. And the parathyroid hormone is responsible for increasing your blood calcium levels when your blood calcium levels become too low.